Hey everybody, Pete here. How are you doing? You guys doing okay? I hope you all said yes. Well today, we're gonna do a day trip out to the man-made reservoir and lake, Lock Raven. How many of you have been there? I used to hang there as a teen. I won't tell you those stories right now, but Lock Raven is a beautiful place to go visit and hang out for the day and that's what we're gonna do so let's go together so here I am cruising Lock Raven yes Lock Raven Maryland you can see the, the dam over there look at all that water going over it be a break up here pretty cool So here I am at Lock Raven Reservoir. Watershed area, 303 square miles. Reservoir capacity, 23 billion gallons. Protect your source of drinking water. That's what this is. And you can see people out here. It looks like a little family having a picnic show you the dam so here's the back side of the dam you can see they have a boat down there beautiful day Let's go check out the other side. Let's see, is this open? Maybe we can walk down. No. Bummer. Restricted area. It would be nice to be able to walk down there, but not today. Alright, so check this out. Look at that. Look at all that water. If you could see the dates here for Lock Raven. Lock Raven Dam, 1914, 1922, and 2005. Look at that. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get a view of this down here. Nice. Very nice. Here we are cruising through Lock Raven. Look at these roads. Look how green it is. So nice. This is a great place to come and spend the day. You could bring your bike out here too. You can go hiking. You can see the water off to my right. That is a man-made reservoir. And from what I hear, it used to be a little town here. And it got buried when they made the reservoir. Now we're going over a bridge here.
And uh, at one point I heard that you could see a, a church steeples coming through, but that was years and years ago. But yeah, this was once a town. I always thought that would make for a good horror movie, you know? Maybe some people stayed beside. Well, anyway. As you can see, there are people here today. And I'm actually here on a weekday. So I think I'm going to pull over and show you guys some more of the reservoir, which is very nice. Shady spot right over here. get out and walk around all right so here we go there are quite a few people here I don't blame them because this is like the perfect day I mean, 75 degrees low humidity I mean nice little breeze I mean, this, it just doesn't get any more perfect than this. There you go. Let's zoom in. Look at that. They're out enjoying this day. There's quite a few of them. They're talking to each other. Nice. Here I got a little closer. Look at that little kid. <laughs> having a good old time. There's another one over here. Brought their dogs. They want food. I hope it's coming through that how beautiful of a day it is today. Right. Like I said, it's perfect. Picture perfect. <laughs> I don't know, is that fireworks? What is that? You guys hear that? Got a little bit closer. Look at them all. They're everywhere. Hey guys. What are you up to? Looking for fish? Food? Enjoying the day? I went dunking for something. A 
amazing. So I came back and I'm at the dam and you can see it in the distance. Water flowing over into the reservoir. Now the dam was originally built in 1881 as a water tunnel to Lake Clifton and Lake Montebello. It wasn't until 1914 that a new dam and reservoir lake was built to provide more water and it wasn't until 1923 that they elevated the dam from 51 feet to 117 feet and again the capacity is 83 billion gallons and it provides drinking water to the city of Baltimore so there you have it hello moving right along all right I'm gonna show you guys something else parked along the side of the road down here because there's actually another little dam in front of the big one and you can hear it look at all the green green is life we're getting close And look, there it is. Get down here so I get a good shot of it. There you go. There's the other little dam. And way back there is the bigger one. And you can see someone fishing. Are they fly fishing? Can't tell. So here you go. Oh look, we have company. How you doing buddy? Looks like he's having lunch. There's some more down there. Beautiful. <laughs> now Lock Raven. We used to come here as teens, hang out and park and party. This was a, one of the places to come. They'd hang out up by the dam or in other parts of it and just find a place to park and have a good time. If you know what I mean. Oh, so check this out. Look at this. Let's zoom in. Now what is that exactly? I can't tell what kind of bird that is. If you know, comment below. 
I think he sees me. Hello. I'm enjoying the sights too. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you haven't been to Lock Raven Reservoir before, come check it out. Spend the day here. Where I parked earlier, that's a popular area to hang out, picnic, take a walk, a hike. There's even places where you can rent a boat. Very nice. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the, this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed coming out to Lock Raven Reservoir and seeing the beautiful sights and the dam. I enjoyed it. And like I said, this is just a great place to come and check out if you haven't been here before or if it's been a while, come back and check it out. It's just certainly so beautiful here. I wanna thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe. There'll be another one coming up soon and I'll see you on that one. Take care, peace.